It's now the middle of September in 2011. We purchased this land in the early 2010. It's just a little under five acres. Uh, we bought it after our kids grew up and moved out of the house with the intent of downsizing. And uh, since my job is to uh, build green homes or to build green buildings, we thought we would give our, our hand at, uh, at building a sustainable house for ourselves uh, with the idea of retiring in it. Uh, we're intending to build a lead home. Uh, we looked around for a long time, a number of years, for a, a suitable piece of land to build on and uh, settled on this piece uh, uh, for a number of reasons. We've, uh, we've always been environmentalists and enjoyed the outdoors and this piece of land had a number of features about it that we especially liked. It was probably farmed in the early 1930s or 40s. Uh, it's bordered by uh, a row of mature red pines on the, on the east and on the north, uh, and it's been let go fallow. There are some uh, fairly mature oaks and cherries. Um, there's uh, uh, a grove of, of sumac. We have some sassafras, uh, which will be fun to, to play with later on as we get used to living on the land. Uh, we have some um, uh, all, several different species of pine, uh, blue spruce that have been planted here, uh, some white spruce that were planted, uh, jack pine, um, the uh, uh, cherry trees, quite a number of mature cherries, and uh, just very few maples. A fair amount of the biomass is in the autumn olive, which is an invasive species. We want to restore as much of the site as we can uh, to its original state. Uh, which is going to require that we remove some native species or, or some of the uh, invasive species. We have some uh, knapweed, which we'll eventually uh, take out. Um, so as, as we take out some of the invasives, we'll, we'll begin to foster some of the, some of the natives. And, and uh, we, have a, we have quite a lot of, of, uh, of uh, blue stem, um, and uh, so, which we particularly like, so we're going to be encouraging that. This is what I anticipate we're going to have for, for our lawn, and that's what we're going to be looking out over. Uh, we want to have as diverse a bioculture as we can for, for our enjoyment. Uh, my idea is uh, not to have to do any yard work. I've been teasing my wife mercilessly about go having goats and chickens out here. Uh, in fact, our original drawings that I produced had, had goats and chickens on the drawings uh, with the intent that the, the chickens would, uh, would uh, fertilize the soil and the goats would keep it cropped. Um, she's repeatedly said no, but occasionally she breaks down. Um, the, uh, and will allow maybe chickens at some point, but um, at any rate, goats and chickens are always uh, in the forefront of, our, of the plans here. And, uh, but what we do intend to do is leave the, uh, the site in, in as much a native state as we can, and, and uh, where, where we do need to keep it clear of the house, uh, we want a buffer zone around the house and, and over the drain field and around the driveway where we need to maintain a field, clear field of vision. Uh, we'll plant low growing uh, ground covers, no mow grasses. Uh, so that we, we can uh, maintain that buffer zone. Uh, we'll use it for pest control. Uh, so we, we have an, an integrated plan designed around uh, maintaining the space that, so that we can enjoy uh, the wildlife. Uh, we have quite a lot of wildlife out here. We've uh, uh, plenty of deer, uh, fox, um, turkeys, uh, woodchucks, uh, squirrels. We've had um, uh, eagles, there's an eagle that nests not far from here, osprey, uh, plenty of buzzards, and we've seen just about every kind of songbird you can imagine. Uh, so we're really looking forward to moving out here.